Hey, Duke Bigler's coming to you today from Grove View Park here in Sanford, Florida. Trying out a new uh, mic setup here with the uh, headphone here, so we'll see if it helps uh, cancel some of the background noise and things like that. But I want to go over some of the issues in terms of where your court position is during serve and court position during return of serve. So let's get into it. In this video, we're going to focus on your position in the court in terms of depth in the court rather than left or right positioning. We have another video coming out that covers your left and right position. This video focuses on your front and back position on serve and return of serve. All right, so first let's talk about uh, court position on return of serve. So I'm standing here. Uh, the, the server is obviously diagonal from me. It's going to be serving this way. The question is, where do I stand during the return of serve? What I've noticed in, uh, in our travels and playing in different areas, rec playing different areas is, what people tend to do is they tend to stand either too close to the line or inside the line, which can create a problem on a return of serve. It's not to say you shouldn't stand there sometimes and there's not situations where standing there is the right uh, place to be, but most often than not, you're going to want to stand behind the baseline so that you have time to let the ball set up before you strike the ball, letting you generate generally more better control over the ball and letting you drive the ball deeper. So let me show you a little bit about that. So basically what people do is they tend to stand here. Sometimes they stand here. To return a serve, that's okay as long as the serve's short. But as soon as you get a deep serve, you're going to be going back, and then you have to hit the ball with your weight transfer going backwards. It's much harder to generate the kind of depth on the ball that you want and to control the shot. So what you want to do is, is start either a foot or two feet somewhere around here behind the baseline is kind of a, a good starting point. Um, and then you'll move front, you move forward or backwards depending on the type of serve you're receiving and the wind conditions. So for instance, if I'm standing here and the wind is behind me, meaning I have the wind at my back going that way, I may take a step forward because the serves are gonna be shorter. So I may step here, I may sometimes even step here if, it's, if, it's, if the wind is strong enough and my opponent doesn't serve the ball deep. If on the other hand, the wind is on the other side, so now the wind is in my face and in the, um, behind the backs of the server, I may actually step three, four feet behind the line in order to give myself a better chance to receive that ball and then return it where I wanna return it. When I suggest to players that they play either a foot or two feet behind the line to return the serve, a common comment is, or a common response is, well, I'm worried about getting served short. Um, my response to that is, worry about getting served short when you start getting served short. I'm more concerned about the 80, 90% of returns you're gonna be dealing with rather than the once or twice that you might get served short and be in a bad position because you're deep. I would rather focus on getting the majority of my returns in as well as possible, risking potentially that every once in a while I'm gonna get a serve short and I can't reach it. If you're playing somebody who actually serves short, then you make an adjustment. Now, so my starting position is here, a couple feet behind the line. I'm playing somebody that serves short. Well, the next time they serve, I'm gonna probably stand here. So it's an adjustment that I'll make depending on how they serve, but simply standing on the line because you're concerned that you might get served short isn't, isn't a reason to stand here because the, the more common error rather than getting uh, caught short is having to pull back off of the line and hit a return that's not gonna go as deep as it should. Another related error to positioning is moving forward on shots. It happens on uh, usually on return of serve and then on, on uh, when you're receiving the return. So as the, when you're executing the third shot as a serving team. So this applies to both of those situations. What will happen is the, the ball will come, the returner or the server hitting the third shot will run forward or move forward into the shot. It's a common thing that tennis players do because tennis players like to hit balls on the rise in tennis. So what a tennis player will do, a tennis player want to take a ball that bounces as it's coming up. They want to um, step into it and strike it as it's coming up into the racket. In pickleball, my experience is that that's a much uh, harder shot or a shot that's not as effective in pickleball. Uh, because what happens is the ball comes up, and then since you don't have strings on the on the paddle and pickleball, you can't really pick that ball up like you would in tennis and drive it like you would in tennis. So what ends up happening is you end up getting a lot of errors into the net from that sort of moves, from the moving into the either the return of serve or the serve, trying to move into it and catch it off the bounce. What you're better off doing is let the ball uh, bounce, let it sit up, and then hit it after it's basically peaked or as it's peaking, hit it at that point and then drive the ball to where you want it to go. Let's talk now about court position or, or starting position on the service side now. 
So let's say I'm serving from this side here. So I'll serve from here. A lot of times what players will do is they'll come into the court like this and wait to receive the next shot or the return coming at you here. Problem with that, it's similar to the problem with the returner serve, which is if the returning team can hit a ball deep, now I have to move backwards and I have to take a third shot with my weight transferring backwards, whether I'm going to drive it or whether I'm going to drop it into the kitchen. I have to do it from a, a, a position of weight transfer backwards, which is a, not a good position to be in. What you're better off doing is you're better off serving the ball and then waiting behind the baseline for it so that then at that point when the ball comes, you can now weight transfer forward and hit the ball, hit your third shot or hit your drive from a weight coming forward position rather than a weight going back position. Same thing applies to the non-server. What will happen sometimes is, let's say my partner is serving, so I'm behind the baseline waiting. What will happen is I'll cheat in, right? I'll cheat in like this. And what happens is now the, the, the returner hits the ball towards me, same problem. Now I'm moving backwards. Anytime that as a server, I have to move backwards in order to execute my third shot or execute my third drive, then what happens is I'm putting myself in a bad position. You're better off being behind the ball, if you will, and then coming forward towards the ball than being in front of where it's going to bounce and then having to move backwards to get it. It's kind of, if you think of baseball, like a center fielder in baseball will usually go back behind where the center fielder believes the ball is going to land or drop so that then they can come forward and catch the ball as opposed to setting up in front of where the ball is going to be and then having to go backwards. It's the same concept here. You want to be kind of behind where you think the ball is going to land and then move forward to hit the ball as opposed to being here and then having to move back to hit the ball. Weight transfer on these shots, whether it's a return of serve or a third shot after the returner has hit the ball to you as a serving team, is an important concept in pickleball. If you don't have a weight, uh, the correct weight transfer position, in other words, if your weight transfer is going back instead of forward, you won't be as, as consistent with your shots. You won't be able to generate power in your shots. You won't be able to direct your shots. Court position is critical on serve and return to serve because what will happen is, is it's a, it may be a small error at the time, but those small errors compound uh, in a point and compound over a match. So what happens is if I'm standing here, I can't get enough depth on my return to serve. Now I put myself or my partner in a tough spot. Maybe I don't have enough time to get up now because of the, the shortness of the return. The serving team's moving forward. So by giving myself the best opportunity to get that ball deep on the return, I give myself the best chance of winning the point. Next time you play, pay particular attention to where you're standing after you serve or after your partner serves. Are you standing behind the baseline, staying behind the baseline, waiting for the ball to come before you go get the ball and hit a third shot or a third drive? Or are you coming into the court and then finding yourself having a backpedal in order to execute the shot? Same thing on the return of serve. Is the server being able to push you back off the line so that you're having to drive the ball or return the ball off of your back foot with your weight shifting backwards where you can't generate enough power? If that's happening to you, make an adjustment. The adjustment is adjust where you start. So if you're getting pushed back on a serve situation, take a step back and start from here and see what happens. See if you can now generate more power in your returns and, and more control in your returns. If after you serve, you find yourself hitting your third shot off your back foot a lot because you have to, you've cheated in and now you have to go backwards, then adjust that. Next time you serve, make it a point to stay behind the line and receive that ball behind the line and move forward towards the ball to execute your shot. If you focus some more on your court position on serve and return or serve, you'll find that you'll have more power, more consistency, and more control over your shots. Try it next time. All right.